What is happening guys? My name is Mew Merchant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking Liverpool and how they have bottled it at home versus Brighton. 2-2 it was the final scoreline and at 2-0 Liverpool looked like they're going to cruise this game and if they keep going they might even score a 4 or 5 like they did versus Manchester United. But Brighton being Brighton, the way they have been playing so gutsy, so fearlessly this season, uh, they went to Anfield and they got two goals back to get one very, very well-deserved point from Anfield. Frustration for Liverpool fans, excitement through the roof for Brighton. This is Liverpool's fourth draw now out of 10 games and it makes you wonder, you know, uh, do they have that edge, do they have that skill to finish games off? They can score a lot of goals with Mane and Salah up front, but can they defend and actually see games off? And if you can't beat Brentford and if you can't beat Brighton at home, then it makes you think, can they win the title? Do they have enough? Or are they going to fall a little too short uh, towards the end of the season? The two goals that Liverpool scored were really, really good goals to watch as a fan, as a player or even as a rival. Really, really well taken goals. Great goal from Jordan Henderson. Uh, that was his first for the season and then Sadio Mane, uh, just amazing Sadio Mane doing Sadio Mane things. Just before the half time, Brighton pulled one back and that was a good goal really. They, it, it showed Brighton's intent of the way they play, home or away. The second half display from Liverpool after that was just very, very bad. Liverpool's midfield and Liverpool's defence looked very shaky and looked very nervy and every time Brighton had the ball, you would think, listen, Brighton are going for it. They might just get the equaliser. They might just get the winner. The whole second half is pretty much Brighton who was expected to score goals. Liverpool were nowhere. In the midfield, they really, really very badly missed Fabinho today. They don't have that proper CDM who can finish games off or who can do the dirty work. Uh, Curtis Jones, Naby Keita, Oxley chamberlain They have the numbers, but the level that the, the substitute come in and play at is not great. Oxley chamberlain I think was awful. I mean, he got one assist, so not that bad. Naby Keita uh, out injured again. That is just such a Naby Keita thing to do. He's out injured. Uh, hopefully it won't be for that long, but uh, yeah. Curtis Jones as well in the middle, not that great, not that effective. And even that defense, you know, Liverpool looked like they were cracking quite a lot of times. Um, it's, it's a skill, you know. Finishing games off is a skill that is not spoken about enough. It's a mentality, it's a mindset when you're winning, how to stay at the top and finish games off. Liverpool have shown quite a lot of times now this season that they lack it this season. Just that extra edge to finish games off defensively or go and score one or two more uh, when the game is 1-1 or 2-2. They lack that. But I'm not saying Liverpool are bad. By no means am I saying that. They are a fantastic side, world-class when everybody's fit. But when they have one or two absentees, uh, it kind of... The cracks kind of begin to show and Brighton and Brentford can take advantage of it as we have seen. And these 10 games, the performances that we have seen, it makes you wonder, right? What happens when Salah and Mane leave for the African Cup of Nations? How are they going to get the goals? Because you take Salah Mane out of that team and then a big chunk of goals is gone. The responsibility is on other players and they are capable as well. But can they perform like Salah Mane immediately? We don't know. So the goals, we have to assume will dry up a little bit and if these are the kind of performances they have at the back then they're going to drop more points along the way and eventually will be a little short. So Liverpool do need to find that extra oomph, that firepower at the back, you know, mentality wise to see games off and do that little extra in the front to convert a 2-2 into a 3-2 or a 1-1 into a 2-1 in their favour. Just a little spark at the front and at the back is lacking for Liverpool. You have to give credit to Brighton, under Graham Potter they are playing superb. They are really up there at the top and there's a reason why. Every chance they got in the second half versus Liverpool at Anfield, they look threatening. They look like something could actually happen from this and Liverpool were kind of beginning to look shaky. So Brighton are playing good, quick and very gutsy football. They're playing fearlessly which is always loved you know by an underdog kind of team. Very realistically if Brighton get a European spot that is going to be insanely overachieved for them but very well deserved nonetheless. So that was a quick review of Liverpool says Brighton. The Liverpool fans will be kind of sad but not concerned yet 
not yet. The players that were absent will come back soon and, and the wins will start coming in again. But they do need to be concerned about one thing and that is finishing games off. It could be a problem when Salah and Mane leave, they need to tackle that quickly or else they'll be left out of the race.